Well, I want to check back in with Jeff Shear at Auburn. We've got time to do that right now. And, and Jeff, if you're looking for a character guy on the Auburn team, I think your eyes first have to glance at a kid named Philip Lutzenkirchen, don't you think? For sure, Rick. That's right. We're less than an hour away from kickoff. And as you mentioned, one of the most popular players on this Auburn football team is not in uniform. He's on crutches. Philip Lutzenkirchen recently underwent hip surgery. But as Britt Lynn tells us, Lutzenkirchen's greatest impact takes place off the field. He's the number one scoring tight end in Auburn history. Plus, he has three game-winning touchdowns to his name. And while Philip Lutzenkirchen's thankful for the recognition he's received on the field, it's not how he wants to be remembered. It's at some point it's going to end for me, and and uh, I'd I'd much rather be known for what I've done off the field and impacting other people's lives than what how many touchdowns or how many catches I've had. Although Philip isn't one to talk about his off the field service, his team has noticed that he isn't your normal student athlete. If off the field, uh, you know. Uh, he's one of those guys that um, that is not about him, you know. That he wants to he wants to be the right guy off the field too. Just to see, you know, the way he impacts lives, not just as a, a football player, but you know, as an Auburn man, as as a guy that that that's that's really you know a, a Christ Christly man that that lives his life right. Kids are touched by him, and when he speaks, you know, they 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 listen. Visiting struggling children isn't anything out of the ordinary for Philip. So when he got wind of an 11 year old girl named Bailey from his hometown of Atlanta, he jumped at the opportunity. He heard that I had cancer and I was having a surgery soon and he wanted to cheer me up. It was cool to watch him um, walk up and knew that he was coming to see me and he was huge. <laughs> Uh, she really just kind of touched my heart. She had just a big smile, and, and uh, it was just a beautiful little girl. And uh, just to see the struggles that she was going through and her have such a positive mindset and be so determined to be able to get back out there and get a prosthetic leg and, and uh, get back to where she can compete was just so special to me. And, and uh, you know, we've just had a, a great relationship since then. On his visit, Philip brought bags full of signed Tigers memorabilia which meant the world to Bailey, whose mother is a former Auburn soccer standout. Among the gifts was a personal letter of encouragement from Tigers head football coach, Gene Chizik. Philip Ludzenkirchen called you an inspiration, and I would definitely have to agree that. Thank you for being the biggest 10-year-old fan Auburn football has. God bless and War Eagle, Gene Chizik. Philip and Bailey's friendship didn't just end there. Philip has dedicated his senior season to Bailey, and his pride in the young cancer fighter can be seen all over his Facebook and Twitter. Weekend chemotherapy sessions have become surrounded by excitement and cheering for Bailey's new hero. It's a good distraction for us to have some fun stuff like that to look forward to. It makes me happy to know that he's thinking about me and he's playing and I'm watching him on TV and um, he's praying for me and I wear my jersey every day, game day for him. It's clear Phillip's friendship has made a deep impact on Bailey, who went from playing guard for a grade school basketball team to hearing a bone cancer diagnosis within a matter of 48 hours. For Bailey, having a sports figure like Philip to look to was exactly what she needed. Philip is a great example of where I would like to see my kids, I think, grow up to be. I think he recognizes that he's got an opportunity to you know, do more with playing football than just being on the field on Saturdays. I think he, he recognizes that he can use that to make a difference elsewhere. And that's important to him, and you can tell, and he takes it very seriously. Philip is already rubbing off on Bailey, who said she knows exactly what she wants to do once she grows up. I want to help kids with cancer, and I want to make them feel better. But the 6'5", 255-pound athlete said people are missing what's really happening here. He says it's actually Bailey that's helping him. A lot of people see that I'm out there touching other people's lives, but I don't think they understand that uh, the impact it has on my life, getting, getting to see some of these kids dealing with uh, their, their disabilities and their cancers and, and what they're going through. And, and for me to see them and how, how they respond and how they react to their situation, it really, it really uh, lets me know how, how blessed I've been. Even if Philip goes down in the record books as Auburn's greatest tight end, Bailey and the Moody's are certain his impact on their family will be remembered much more 
than what he accomplished on the field. For Tide and Tigers today, I'm Britton Lynn. Thank you, Britton. Great story. Hey, Auburn is running out of tight end. C.J. Uzama, the guy who took over in the passing game for Lutzenkirchen, he is out, too, wearing a cast on his right hand. Auburn very thin at the tight end position. Rick and Paul? All right. Thanks a lot, Jeff. Good news for Bailey. Cancer-free. The uh, prognosis is very good for her. She'll undergo CAT scans every three months for the next two years. Hey, in just a bit, 